All right, listen up. We are Hebrew Israelites. Come in here every week in and week out to prophesy the death of this wicked place called America. And to bring these people on the side back to the true nationality. For you Negroes, see Latinos, Native American Indians, you're the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about. And it's our job to come out here to warn you people and also to, to condemn the other parts of you. Two thirds, uh, two thirds of the house of Israel, man, you Negro and Latinos are gonna be put to death, all right? And it's gonna be by, uh, by, uh, horrible, by horrible death, all right? And this so-called land, America, that's ruled by the so-called white man, is gonna be destroyed forever, all right? I just could just tell you, I just could just tell you, man, that the most high is gonna make this a perpetual, a, a, a perpetual blotted out place. Meaning that there's, gonna, there's gonna be no remembrance of this place. Nothing glorious about it. The end of it's gonna, the end, I mean, the deliverance is gonna be beautiful, but other than that, America's got a horrible judgment coming upon it, all right? And, and by the way, that judgment is gonna be a righteous judgment, all right? Because all y'all people in that time are gonna be wondering why this place is going through hell or being destroyed, it's, but it's righteous, all right? The Most High himself is gonna do it, all right? This is Isaiah 13 and 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, and we already know from the good account, the, the perfect account of that place, that place got destroyed horribly. It was destroyed by hailstones, or brimstone, all right? The more, the, it goes deeper than that, but the Most High sent the angels to check that place out to see if it was if it was in order, and it wasn't. Just like you got what you got before your face today. You got angels, which the word angel means messenger, but you got these men before your face daily going through hell and we're checking the place out to see if there's anything good in it we're not anything good but we're giving an account that this place remains wicked to this very day we still go up and down the streets of our daily lives and not one good thing is out here all right so the most high continually tells us to condemn this place all right like i said the glory the glory of the excellent the glory of the excellency of the land of babylon is going to be brought down all right and that, because that's what we're doing. We're bringing down, uh, what is that, in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, that we're bringing down strongholds, and America itself is a stronghold. They say you can't, you can't fuck with America. America's untouchable. But that's all about to, that's all about to be thrown out the window by the Most High, man. Uh, this is Jeremiah 5 and 1. It says, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, <laughs> and see now and know, and seek in the broad places thereof, if you can find a man, if there be any that execute a judgment, that seek a truth, and I will pardon it. And if you notice, it said that go through the, it said go through the, the seek, seek through the broad, meaning that the most he didn't miss an area. Us men, we're not missing any, there's not like a little nook and cranny, well actually there is, they elect, but you, you, you go up and down America, there's no nooks and crannies where, where anything good is happening. So he said that you search these things out. The most High said he searches out the deep and the, the deep and the hidden things, and he searched out all of America. That's why in, in, in Proverbs says that wisdom cries in the streets. She, yep. she, she, she declares her, her wisdom in the in the, in the open, in the open air for all nations. It's not just in the one little sec, uh, secluded area. Okay, everybody sees what we're, uh, us brothers are doing, on, whether it be on the internet or in their <laughs> own city. You all know and hear about us. Verse 2, Jeremiah 5 and 2, and, th and though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. And, how, how, and one thing, how, 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 how has the Most High stricken you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians today? Putting y'all through hell under, uh, under Esau, the so-called white man here in America. Because here in America, you're still, you're still in slavery. But you, you see it as a uh, as a good thing, busting your ass every day for for some fucking Federal Reserve note that don't uh, amount to shit. Cause that, all those notes are basically like credit. That's why America's in a in a, a, a trillion dollar and, and, and above and beyond that debt. Because they ain't got no more, they ain't got nothing to to pay back with. And and anything that's precious and worth anything is gold, silver, and rubies and diamonds and what have you. Not no fucking 
Red Federal Reserve note that's made out of fucking what, 75 percent uh, cotton. cotton, and the other percent is linen. Okay. So uh, it says. Lord, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Yeah, like the brother was saying about that, uh, that busting your ass up there, that's one of those things that you made your face hard against. Now all you people, man, especially Latinos, man, since that's one of our gifts to work, be a hard worker, y'all are indoctrinated your whole, your whole life lays on that one thing about busting your ass your entire life and then like age 60 or 50 you retire and you look at all the work you did that's that's a highly esteemed thing today man but yeah like the brothers say man that but like or like the scriptures say that y'all are stricken y'all you are not y'all are not returned from it that 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 hell that y'all are catching this slaving that y'all do all day you're just busting your ass for like 750 an hour man that's supposed to that's supposed to make you humble man and realize what kind of hell you're in to get like the yeah, but like I said, y'all have not agreed. Y'all, it said it went backwards. Now y'all, y'all like it. Y'all, y'all like uh, like the brothers I was talking about. I don't really like y'all. Y'all hate it. Y'all just y'all. What y'all love is that reward at the end where you can go and indulge yourself with all foolishness at the on, the on the weekend. But majority of you motherfucking people, because I've been there where I was making a, a minimum minimum wage paying. I was, getting paid minimum wage and I hated this shit. It was a struggle, it was a day-to-day -day fucking struggle. Hard as hell. But to, to those that make money, that are out there making money, y'all 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 take joy in it, even though you're busting your ass, you, you look back and you forget that you're here it's, it's to, to serve slavery because y'all don't know that this is your, the place of your captivity. Y'all don't know that, that's why we come out here telling y'all the, 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 the true identity of America. America is what was built upon slaves, man. blood. It wasn't built upon God because this place is not of God. Not of, not of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's why Yahweh Shai says uh, you can either serve Mammon or, or God. You can't, you gotta choose one or the other because America is that place of great uh, abundance and treasure. That's why he says in the Chaldeans, the Chaldeans excellency. And it tells you in Revelation how she's built up upon scarlet diamonds, precious woods, myrrhs, uh, incense. And all y'all, the majority of the people here in America, they take delight in that. But for what? To be destroyed at the end. Because even the scriptures say by your own goods, your own goods can have your ass destroyed. Your own material. So that's, that's one of the way, many reasons why the most side has it set up that way because uh, two thirds of y'all people are gonna fall into that that bullshit and forget about the truth. Like I said, right here in, in Jeremiah, it, it said it. It says, uh, "Seek any of those that seek out truth." And it says they have, uh, "Oh Lord, are not the eyes upon the truth?" But the most high eyes are upon the truth. They never forgot. That's why we're coming. At, all the men that are on the highways and by, we're coming back. On the highways and the byways that y'all see before your eyes telling you the truth, bringing it back to your remembrance. Because this place is about to be destroyed. This place right here, like the brother said, is a stronghold. And that's one of the strongholds of America. It's thinking, making you believe that this place is like Disneyland. You know what I'm Like one big ass carnival and everything's all good. Nothing's ever going to touch this place. But, uh... Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 4 says, Therefore I said, Surely these are these are poor. They are foolish. For they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. Right. Like after having, after having all these things that you want, it's not even tells you you're not this still, man. Because I, I was thinking, I was thinking about yesterday, like basically, man, when a man leaves the law, the commandments, he feels retarded. He doesn't know anything. He knows nothing. And that's not like, so right there, it says, Y'all are poor. But as the scripture says in the Revelation 13, was 3, right? Where it says that thou art naked and poor. Uh, because thou sayest thou art rich, where thou art naked and poor and wretched. The most I call it, the most I call it a wretched, man. That's how America is, too. America's a fucking woman that, 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 that it's, she's a little sleaze bag. Full of diseases yeah. and shit, man. It's, it's like this brother, man, like when I was first coming into the truth, uh, he, he was breaking down the name of Esau to me. 
and uh, he had given an example that whenever uh, uh, Jacob and Esau came up, he said he saw Jacob, he was like, all right, this is my son. But then when he came to Esau, he was like, uh, you were like wasted, he was like wasted away. But the way he said it, like that's like, that, that's what the most, high, that's how he's looking at y'all people, man. He's shaking his head, he's like, y'all fucking, y'all pieces of shit, man. Y'all ain't worth the damn, man. And y'all people are the, y'all, y'all the nerd to say that what we're doing or that anything out there that tries to do good is worthless, man. But really, like, that's why I was saying that, or the scripture said that y'all are poor, man. Y'all don't know the way, and it said y'all don't know the way of the Lord. It said, and when the brother said, uh, that the moral size are on the truth, that's that's what you're supposed to be seeking. That's what we always talked about, right, too? That y'all are supposed to be seeking the Lord. That's seeking the, that's seeking truth. Because he said that he's all he's all truth, all about judgment, all about righteousness. That's true. Jeremiah 5 and 5, it says, I will give me unto great men, and I will speak unto them. For they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God, but these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many, and their backslidings are increased. Right, see, that, that's what we're telling you about that stronghold of America, man. You're, you're being watched daily by all these these, these vicious animals, spiritual vicious animals, which are just other nations, other certain higher ups, wicked rulers. They got the surveillance. Mm -hmm. oh, they yeah. got no yeah. privacy. You know, they they, they got they got tab, like tabs on you people, man. They they know what you're into. They know what you're about. It's like the brothers always said. They they know everything about us. You know, those, those are those 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 lepers that are uh, watching over the city. All those the other nations. It was like before I was coming, before I came here, I was thinking about it was a good scripture about the spirit, but. I was like, I was thinking in my mind, like, what, what is America, you know, what has America done? You know, what has America done for y'all people in this time? Like, where's the great deliverance that, like, when you struggle with your payments, where are they to help you? You know, or anything, just anything in general, man. America doesn't do nothing for you. There's a scripture that talks about a Sirach, how that a man, he'll become your friend and he'll help you only to help himself. And it even says at the end of that scripture that it says, uh, the Sirach even goes like, how can this be? Like this, it, it, this ought to be not so. Like how can how can how can men do that? How can a man use you despitefully, man, and 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 think that, that think that they're still doing good? You know, just like America thinks. This whole stronghold, this whole entire like the most busy man, and, and really, our people are destroyed. Y'all people are already destroyed. That's why you're called two thirds because there's no salvation for you. You can't be saved because you just want you want this. Y'all are poor, like the scriptures call you. I'm going to go back to Isaiah 13 and 20. It shall never be inhabited, or verse 19, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child D's excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful birds, and owls shall dwell there, and sad trees shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Yo, that's, that's for y'all people who think that this place is gonna thrive, all right? Because this place, this, we've been telling you for the last, we've been, even the elders themselves have been coming out for more than 20 years now, telling y'all telling people that this place is gonna be destroyed. And y'all still have yet to see it come, so y'all start mocking us, but I could just tell you, man, that this place is on its way out. It says that its time is near. Right? And because of, for all that it's done, this is, this is its reward. America wanted, to, America, America wanted to set itself up and become, this, like the brother said, a great whore, a, a wicked nation. Just extremely wicked, man, a place of our battle. And this is what it's gonna get. Your time of fun, your time of fun at this place too is over. For all you two-thirds that want to indulge in this place, to enjoy yourself, all right? Because it, there's no order in America. All right? There's nothing good about America. There's nothing good. There's no, there's no order. There's no. There's like what is that one? Uh, anyone who what is that? Anyone who comes in or out? Or, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, anyone who comes, who tries to come in or out is destroyed. I don't know what that one was. 
uh, but the scripture talks about when you come to America, David had that saying when you come here that you're on your own. You know, so this is that this is our reward for America. Uh, this is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number is month of his months are with him. God has appointed his bonds that he cannot pass. Basically, the, the, uh, America's times are numbered in the Most High's hands. He got this place uh, uh, down to, a, uh, you know, to a T, to where he knows when this place is about to be destroyed. He gave Esau a time, like he, he there's a time. Uh, uh, what are those things? Those, those uh, hourglass. An hourglass. That's what that's what Esau's on. That's why Esau's in a hurry to get all his what he needs to get and do it. Speed it. He speeds everything up as much as he can because he knows his time is short. But his times are determined. Just like when King Babylon, his son uh, took in rulership, and he decided to go into the, uh, uh, and take up all the, uh, the golden vessels of the house of the Lord, and use them as, and, and start drinking out of them. And what happened, that the hand of the Lord appeared, and, 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 and there was a writing on the wall, basically saying his time was up. The writing on the wall, that, 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 that's, that, that's the destiny for America, and we're here to make it known to it, that the Most High has already declared your judgment. And your judgment's on the way. Uh, this is Acts chapter 17, verse. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll get Acts 17 and 31. It says, Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world of righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised him from the dead. All right, so. The most is coming back. He already has a time where he's gonna come back. Nobody knows, not even his son. So just like America, nobody knows when America's about to be destroyed. All, all we, all we got to uh, use as a measurement is the signs. So we, we see the signs. It's just a matter of time when everything's gonna pop off. And then when things start popping out, getting more worse, that doesn't mean it's the end either. It's closer because at the the end is where the, the elect are taken up into the heavens and it's basically annihilated by destruction. The most high got this place numbered. He got each and every individual person on the earth numbered. Okay? Only the elect are not part of that number because the elect are not gonna uh, have that uh, awful death, uh, uh, unprofitable death. And if, if the elect do die on this side as a martyr, they're gonna have an honorable resurrection. The rest of you are gonna be ashamed and y'all gonna not have an honorable resurrection. And you're gonna have a horrible, way horrible death. Because the elect are not gonna die with that guilt, they're gonna die Bold. They're going to die knowing that the Most High is going to deliver them and they're going to have a better resurrection. Like it says in Hebrews. Hebrews what? With chapter 12? Chapter 11? Yeah. Nah, that's all right. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that because that's what the, the brother was talking about, how the, 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 the time of playing is already up. It's at its, it's already, already at its last draw, so y'all have, 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 have as much fun as you want, but at the end, you're gonna have to pay back for it. Just like in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, it tells you that that the, 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 the child and the child's youth is vanity, because remember that you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to pay back for everything that you did. That's what it says in the, uh, the last few verses of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes Chapter 11, and you jump down to verse 12 and 1, and it tells you that seek the Lord in thy, in, thy, in thy youth before the evil days come. Okay, not when you're all ragged, raggedy, uh, ragged out and all, um, not usable. Okay, and then when the end's already at the end, like the end's right there in your face, Most High ain't dealing with none of that. Most High te tells you clearly in the scripture seek the Lord, seek the Lord in thy youth. Why he still may be found. How, how can you find the Lord? Through one through a man of the Lord on the highways and the byways. You can't just find it by opening the book. Because in the book you don't got his name. So you got you have to be taught all over again. And know the judgments of the Lord, the severity of the Lord. Like the scriptures say, that my my the saints know me. The, 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 the day of the Lord, uh the hour will come where the true worshippers shall worship me in truth and in spirit. And like it said in Jeremiah chapter 5, that uh the, 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 the men that know God, or that obey His law, know Him. The rest of you people don't know Him. Y'all choose nitpicking on what laws you want to follow. And even after that, y'all ain't even 